the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Prophecies and revelations given to Luz de Maria. The Blessed Virgin Mary speaks. The 3rd of January 2017. My son is coming, announced by all creation. He will not return in a poor manger but as king. He comes in the midst of the vault of heaven that will open to make way for him. He comes accompanied by myriads of angelic beings, and of all the hierarchies. The stars will seem to descend towards the earth, by day you will see them shine. The martyrs will sing the divine glory, all that exists will sing the arrival of my son. The archangels and seraphim will raise up songs with harmonious melodies such as man has never heard. The air will sing and the water will rise up, forming small drops of water that will arise in harmony, forming beautiful multi-colored rainbows, so pure in their essence, that man has not seen such colors before. The vegetation will join with such rejoicing and will move in unison, producing the sound of the trumpets to the rhythm of the songs. An archangel will have a chalice in his hand with my son's blood, the same that was collected at the foot of the cross, and this blood will be poured out as abundant dew on the holy remnant, faithful and true, who did not deny my son. February 28, 2016. My son has not been holding you in the palm of his hand for you to fall prey to Satan. He returns accompanied by celestial powers to be conqueror king. Heaven will open and there will not be a creature on earth who will not tremble at the majesty of the celestial powers that will accompany him. They will joyfully sing as no man has ever heard, and those who recognize him will go down on their knees before such glory. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, there will be celebration and rejoicing in the world that will recognize his Lord. But before this happens, a creature will precede it, a creature that will seem young to the world but when he speaks they will know that he is the man and that whatever comes out of his mouth is more than worldly and faith will return to my children. May 17, 2015. Lift up your eyes on high, do not despise the signs of the times because they will look at you more often warning you about my son's second coming, warning you so you will convert. May 13, 2015. Children. Evil will purify men, but it will not prevail. My son returns in his second coming, in glory, power, and majesty. I remain continuously with my children since the sun illuminates the earth until evening. The 10th of May 2015. My son will arrive in splendor and glory. All things created will recognize him and will kneel before him. The heavens will open giving way to the King of Kings. The stars will shine in the daytime like they have never shone before. The sun will dance and emit multiple colors. The wind will remain in complete stillness. The moon will dance on itself. The vegetation will all sprout. The animal kingdom will join in to adore the one who arrives. Your guardian angels, fellow travelers, will sing in one voice, and from heaven will be heard. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The earth will shake with great agitation recognizing the divinity, and those who have denied him and have delivered themselves to the devil will run to and fur without finding where to hide, the mountains will not give them shelter and they will not find a place where they can hide. Before the astonished gaze of humanity, the invisible will become visible. I will hear the laments of those who denied my son, the desperation of the lukewarm who served two masters ignoring my calls, and I will hear my son's faithful people prostrate on the ground and worship their king.
The universe will shake with a commotion and from Earth man will be able to hear how everything that exists in the universe makes itself felt so that all men will be certain that my son is king. January 14, 2015. Children, you must prepare yourselves for my son's second coming. You cannot deny, in light of this great event, that the happenings prior to it will superabound. Prepare the spirit for my son's second coming. But before that, prepare yourselves with a humble and contrite heart to face the personal judgment during the warning. Do not continue to be blind or foolish. Do not deny that which cannot be denied. My word is guided by the Holy Spirit and my Son continuously sends me to communicate His divine will to His people. August 20, 2014. The second coming of my Son is imminent and therefore, Satan and his legions are determined to increase their loot. July 20, 2014. My son is coming soon, his second coming is imminent for humanity, although this coming will not come without man first being purified by himself. Do not fear, wait, wait with love and longing for my son's second coming. My son arrives before man. I call you to prepare yourselves, refusing all that is contrary to the inheritance you received, the commandments. My son approaches, my son's glory is near, and the dawn of man towards a new heaven and a new earth, is instants away. My son's throne will shine more radiantly than at the very hour of his ascension into heaven, for he comes and descends for his people and there will not be a measure to his love and his mercy. All of creation will recognize its Lord, every human being will fall on his or her knees even if he or she does not live under the light of my son's love. The earth and the entire universe will shake when the King of Kings and Lord of Lords presents himself with his beloved myriads of cherubim, seraphim, thrones, dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels and angels who will exclaim in one voice, who is like God. The 10th of March 2014 and still you do not understand that the Antichrist is leading this generation to commit the most horrifying sins that man can commit. Should all this not be purified before all are lost? Man feels so superior to my son that he does not accept a purification. Well it is not so my children. Those who do not recognize my son. Those who kill innocents, those who abuse the innocents, those who slander my true instruments, those who utter inappropriate words to my priests who truly adhere to my son's word, those who profane my son's body, those who mock his word and mock mine, among other aspects, those with horror and terror will lament and fall upon their knees raising their hands towards heaven crying out for mercy. They will feel they have scorned divine mercy and that this is the instant of divine justice. It is the instant in which my son comes with his strong arm. But even so, my son, loving you so much, has not wanted to execute justice himself and has delegated to creation, to the cosmos and the universe, to execute divine justice because the entire cosmos, the universe and all of nature live in concordance with the divine will. So will it be that man will be greatly tried, and with it, he will suffer not only in body but in mind, and he will suffer in his very spirit, when he finds himself totally helpless before the forces of what has been created by the Father.